Hey lovelies, I'm happy to be here again. I hope you've been keeping up with your health. If this is the first video you're watching on this channel, my name is Ronji. And for a long time now, I've been trying to lose weight and keep fit and, you know, just stay healthy generally. These have been my journey and I'm hoping to inspire not one, not two, but a lot of people who are willing to take on their own personal health journeys. Those who are willing to lose weight, I hope to inspire somebody so that they can do what is best for themselves, all right? Okay, today I woke up and I thought I want to go for my usual exercises routine because I was feeling bloated, I was having cramping. It's almost that time of the month. Ladies, you understand me? And so I was feeling just lazy and I almost didn't go for my exercises. But I said, I'll just go and do weights alone. You know, lifting is my favorite exercise. And so I thought, okay, let me just go to the field and record some lifting activities for my lovelies. And then that's all I'll do for the day. I was very wrong. Who told you I did not meet my old friend in the field and we had some very serious cardio activities, all right? Oh my goodness, the way I do not like cardio so much. Today was almost an entirely cardio day, but it was all worth it. Anyway, so I started with this weight lift that I love to do so much. I told you I love lifting weights because they build my muscles and then it's the muscles that help break down the fat in your body. And so whenever I have a minute or two, whenever I'm feeling so lazy, I'd rather not do anything else other than lift. And so I did these favorite repetitions of which I usually do and I enjoy. They are quite easy, not if you are starting, but uh, I find them enjoyable and easy to me. And so I started with this and I kept on doing the weights. Today there were not a lot of people in the field. It had rained the day before and so it was all muddy. It was very cold. But I told myself, okay, this is your commitment. This is your discipline. This is your journey and nobody else. And so you have to wake up for yourself. You have, if you're going to do one lift, if you're going to lift a few rounds of weights, you have to do it for yourself. So after lifting a bit of weight, I thought, okay, let me swing around. Let me swing around a bit. I see how it goes, okay? I was bloated. I was feeling bloated. Oh my goodness. I didn't like today's morning exercises, but I put in the work, all right? Sometimes you just have to push yourself. And so I started doing these steps, which I also like, but I like them more when there's music. In the field, there's no rhythm. There's nothing. You are creating your own rhythm from your mind, okay? So I think I was singing along to a certain song, which I won't tell you. If you want to know, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> if you want to know the kind of song I was singing to myself for doing these steps, let me know in the comment section. I might let you in on my little secret. And then I remembered, you know what, Ronji, you hadn't even uh, stretched. And we've said this before, that before you start any exercises, before you start any workout, you gotta stretch so that your body will be fine, so that your body will be prepared to do that which is ahead of you. And so I said, better late than never. All right. So I started stretching and a bit, I, I did a bit of squats, which I don't like so much, but I can handle a few. So I did these squats right here. And I'm so proud when I'm doing these things. I know they are tiresome. I know they are not as enjoyable. I know they are a, a hard work, but to me, it's all worth it as long as I remember how far I've come, all right? Okay, so I met up with my coach and we started doing some cardio activities. And I thought maybe we are just going to do a few. Oh my goodness. We ended up doing one good hour of cardio activities. My friend is a very good fitness trainer, all right? You can already tell from looking at him that he is a, a trainer, his body is fit, and I, he inspires me in a lot of ways. Okay, so we started doing these cardiovascular activities, and I can't tell you the names of some of these activities. You just have to follow, all right? Some I would get, some I would find so easy, like these ones, I've been doing them even alone. Some were challenging, and you're, go you're going to see, some were very challenging, and I was having a hard time following how he instru was instructing me to do. But all the same, we did a lot of activities today. And as you follow what I was doing, let me let you in on a little secret. If you're out there and you're looking to lose weight, exercise is a good thing to do. Workouts are good when you're looking to lose weight, but they are not the only ones you should rely on. We know that diet forms a big part of whether you're going to add weight, whether you're going to maintain, whether you're going to lose a few pounds here and there. And so you have to watch on your diet. And one secret I'm going to give you today is lay off sugar, especially processed sugar. 
You know, like the one we put inside tea when we want to take tea? Leave it alone. Doesn't help your body. It just makes you accumulate more sugar into your system. And we know when the body has had its enough of sugar, it's going to store the rest as fats. And they are going to be stored all over your body. Look at my flabby arms, look at my stomach, look at my hanging, whatever. They are going to be stored in all those areas. And so one tip, if you're looking to lose a few pounds here and there, leave sugar alone, leave processed sugar alone. Eat natural sugar from, you know, natural healthy food, from fruits, but do not take any processed sugar and that includes products that, that have been made using processed sugar like biscuits like cakes like ice cream you you have to let go you have to let go of all of those things if you're looking to make a step towards bettering your health generally and even losing weight if that is what you intend to do okay i was working so hard with this i do not like these jumpy jumpy things i don't know if my coach knows this but i do not like i don't enjoy them at all <laughs> I wanted to turn around so that you can see how you're supposed to throw your legs up as you lift your arms up. And uh, I was doing my best. I was putting this might not look like something to you, but to me, this was my best this morning. All right. And then there were these crazy moves that also required jumping and, you know, flapping your hands in between your chest. At this point, I don't know what was about to burn inside my body whether it was my boobs or my legs or my tummy something was burning up I, I can't tell what I think all of them I was so tired I was feeling it okay you're feeling your arms strained you're feeling your chest pumping you're out of breath but I'm telling myself how many did you need 20 okay let me try if I do you 15 we are good all right and he was so lenient so we did what we can at, at some point, I took my minute. Remember, we always say whenever you work out, take a minute to breathe in. Take a minute to regain your strength. Take a minute to just, you know, relax and rest. It's not a matter of life and death. And so we are allowed to rest here and there. And I got my rests as we were doing these cardios, okay? I don't know what this kind of jumping and pattern is called, but I believe it's beneficial. He said it is. I believe him. And so I was happy doing them. These ones, I've seen them on the internet. People do them and they say it helps with burning the fat around the tummy, which is our major problem as ladies. We have a lot of stored fats around our bellies. And so I said, okay, if it, if it helps burn the fat around the tummy, then I'm going to try them. And they're not as hard. I enjoyed these ones. Although, again, they go well when there is a sound in the background and there's some music. One of these days, maybe I might have to carry a radio so that I can do them for longer, okay? And then we did this. Um, no, I do not know the name. <laughs> Whatever it is called. We did them. And these ones were, were also not as hard. All right? At least I could follow the steps and uh, my arms were down. They were not up. When my arms are up, that is when I get too tired too quickly. When my arms are down like this, we can go. We can go a mile or two, all right? And so I was tired. I needed a minute. I needed a break. And I told him, oh, you know what, friend? These flabby arms can wait. Let me rest a minute, okay? So after taking a rest, we came back to these ones. Again, I've forgotten the name. What are these called? Let me know in the comment section. Which move is this one? But I enjoyed it because, again, my arms were not lifted up. I don't know if you can relate with me, but those exercises that require you to have your arms raised above your head, they are tough. Maybe it's just me, but I find them so tough, I can't do them for a long period of time. Maybe just for now, okay? Maybe as I continue, I'll be able to keep up with them, I'll be able to work on my endurance and do even better. Let me know what you think about these exercises. Do you like cardio? Do you like strength training? I understand they are all very important and we need to do all of them. But if I were to choose one, if I were to choose only one kind of exercises to be doing, I mean only one kind of exercise to stick on, I wouldn't go for these things I'm doing right here. Like this one now, this was very new. I learned of it just today. And with this leg, I got it correctly. But look at how I'm going to mess up with the other leg. <laughs> I'm almost knocking my head off. <laughs> ah, I was not even finding my balance, but I said, oh, goodness. You know what? It's not too serious. It's not too serious. If I don't get it today, I might get it tomorrow. All right? It's a learning process. 
I'm not a perfect, you know, uh, I'm not even a professional trainer. I'm just doing this for my own health benefits, all right? And maybe just to share with you and have a good time and to let you know it's never that serious. If you decide to do something about your weight, about your health, have fun while doing it, all right? Don't let it uh, depress you when you can't get a step right. You are with me up to this point? I love these sweet smiles, okay? All right, so we went in for the last time and we decided let's do a little bit more because uh, the next time I'll be doing cardio again will be two days after today. And so I said, let me put in today's work and tomorrow's work so that I don't feel bad about not working out uh, doing cardio activities tomorrow. And so we did a few more crunches and uh, we were almost done. At this point, I was thinking, you know what? Time is up. I need to go. I need to go. We've done well. Okay, that was my day. I would love to know if you worked out yourself. What did you do today or yesterday? Share with me in the comment section. We were now cooling down. These, I was told, they were just, you know, for cooling your body down after you've done so much. And so I was cooling down. Thank you so much for following me, for watching me. Thank you for being with, staying with me on this video up to the end. I'm going to show you what I had for lunch since I don't do breakfast. My first meal comes at around noon, all right? And so I did a very nice meal, which I'm about to share with you. But first, I have to appreciate you so much. If you're out there, you're seeing this video for the first time, you are in this channel for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Give me that motivation to do even more. And thank you so much for your participation in today's workout. Now, this is what I had for lunch. It's a uh, avocado and two boiled eggs, uh, some red peppers and a bit of olive oil. And then I took some photos for you after the workout i had some snaps for you to share with you this is how i was feeling after the entire workout and this last set of photos are me at work you know after you've cleaned up and you are now ready for the day have a good day remember to subscribe